Nigerian government, versus Namdi Kanu. He who holds another person to the ground also holds himself. When he stands, both of them goes. But if he didn't, they will remain there. No wonder Nigeria is where it is today. The federal government kidnapped Namdi Kanu from Kenya, brought him back to Nigeria through the backyard, and held him to the ground thinking that they will prosper Nigeria with Namdi. Kanu in their custody. If you don't know, Namdi Kanu is a national asset that no one can easily contend with and go free. He is too big to be kidnapped, detained, and forgotten. Even the people who praise for him on a daily basis are numerous, and these prayers are really working. Next time, don't kidnap a national asset because they are too big to be hidden in mere dungeons. When you kidnap them, you also kidnapped yourself because you won't go and you won't come. As it is right now, nothing good is going on in Nigeria from the side of the federal government because they are busy holding Namdi Kanu to the ground. Workers are owed many months' salaries, but you may not know the huge amount of money the federal government spent in fighting Namdi Kanu and Epob yet. We are still standing like an Iroko tree. If you are a civil servant in Nigeria and you are owed many months' salaries, please pressure them to pay you your money because you are not running a charity foundation. You labored so that you can get paid not to be owed. They have used your salaries in fighting Namdi Kanu and IPOB. Pressure them to pay you. Family Writers, Press International. Barrister, what do you want to know? I want to tell you about Yoruba people. Do you want to hear about them or not? <laughs> Director, hmm? you are at the end of affairs. Say whatever you want to say. Remember, we have no restrictions here. At Go all. Ahead. You know, we have some documents, Barrister. Never seen before in the zoo. Nobody knows. Not even Awolowo has this document. <laughs> but we'll tell them about Yoruba people. The same way you have Igbo people in the hinterland of Biafra land is the same way that you have a place called Metropolitan Oyo Oyo or Yoruba proper. The people you see in Lagos, those you see around Abiyokuta, the, the people, Igba people, Ibarakpa people, the people of Egbado, Ketu, the people that they call Popo, these the people of Potonovo, and Awori people of Ota, where Basanjo comes from. Awori, that's who he is. He is not proper Yoruba. Do you know that, Barista? They of are not I proper that, Yoruba right? people. Yoruba people, their boundaries stopped at a place called the Iwo, all the way from Kishi. The old Oyo, which is called Katunga, was destroyed in 1837. Destroyed by the Fulanese in 1837. Destroyed completely and hopelessly. That is the proper Yoruba people, but because of their influence and their conquest, they spread their language all the way to the sea. To places like Ekwe, in Lagos, Ijebu, Eba, Ebarakpa, a place called Kivun Ketu, spread all the way to the homie. You, you are sounding like a Yoruba man yourself, director. You know all the names. <laughs> oh my God. Barrister, they are not Yoruba. Obasan John is not a Yoruba man proper. Obasan John is a satellite Yoruba man. His place is not part of the old Yoruba proper. That was their name. Oyo. Oyo are the Yoruba people. Oyo, the proper Yoruba people. Oyo, their spiritual home is at Ife. Ile Ife. You, what we did not do, you see, we are very peaceful people. We did not we force. Are. We did not force anybody else to impose our dialect on them. Oyo is the proper Yoruba people. The Oyo Empire. They spread their empire. You see, they said the Igbo people are domineering. They dominate you. Oh, they domineer. They will come to Calabar. They will take you. We are asking Yoruba people, how did you break away from Oyom, Igoho, all the way to...